Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to No Limits Wrestling and still to come in this part, Brock Lesnar to go one on one with the ultimate opportunist Edge. And last week it was Edge who speared Seth Rollins and as a punishment for that, he is having to go one on one with the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. I have traveled to every circus. I have traveled to every freak show, and I have been scouting for the biggest, the meanest, and the most terrifying giants that I can find to inflict suffering among the NLW roster. For what reason I am doing this will remain a mystery until I say it's okay for you to know, but I can say this. I am going to soon reveal the giants that I have assembled, and when I do, you'll realize the grave danger that the wrestlers in No Limits Wrestling are in for. In 50 episodes, you have never seen a triad of evil as big and as tough as what I have in store for you. How does she keep managing to hijack the feed? In any event, you see that she's obviously unstable as Rosemary and she's bringing a triad of giants here? I am intrigued. I'll tell you what, Tyler Breeze is intrigued as well. He's brought his VIP section back again. We saw it this past week on Metal, we saw it last week. I didn't know we were giving out VIP tickets and why are we giving them to Tyler Breeze? I guess he's here for a reason and he's here to view the historic 50th episode we have and he was also in attendance last week when it was meant to be Jimmy Havoc versus Dean Ambrose. Now, we've recapped the situation numerous times. Havoc and Terry Funk have targeted Dean Ambrose for calling himself the hardcore icon. Terry Funk didn't like people comparing Dean Ambrose to himself and therefore he sent out Jimmy Havoc to do his bidding and it was set for last week to be a match between these two however Havoc versus Ambrose didn't get underway instead Ambrose went right after Jimmy Havoc without a bell but it ended up being an inverted pole driver onto concrete and Dean Ambrose ended up having to be stretched out and if you think that was violent you should have seen this past week on Metal the main event was a hardcore title match between Jimmy Havoc and Sabu and Havoc in his first match in this company picked up a victory with the same inverted pole driver this time onto barbed wire and therefore Jimmy Havoc is the new hardcore champion. However, for what he did to Dean Ambrose, the board of directors has agreed that Jimmy Havoc cannot step foot on the premises here tonight. He has been suspended for a week, but that suspension is over at Insurgents. And it has just been announced a stretcher match between Dean Ambrose and Jimmy Havoc, and the hardcore championship will be on the line. But with what Havoc did to Ambrose, Ambrose is nowhere near going to be 100%. And add in the factor of Terry Funk at ringside, I don't like Dean Ambrose's odds at that stretcher match at Insurgents. And also at Insurgents, it is going to be a dream match. Daniel Bryan taking on the unpinned, unsubmitted Kurt Angle. A couple weeks ago, it was Daniel Bryan coming to the aid of Neville, who is being attacked by Kurt Angle. And despite Kurt Angle not initially wanting to accept the challenge that Daniel Bryan laid out to him at Unchained, last week it was Kurt Angle costing Daniel Bryan a match in the King of the Ring tournament against Kevin Owens. And then following that contest, Kurt Angle said, I accept your challenge, I will face you, and the match has been made official for Insurgents. Tonight on our 50th episode, Kurt Angle called out Daniel Bryan to confront him in the middle of the ring, and we're going to take you right now live to Daniel Bryan and Kurt Angle in the ring. You know, eventually, I knew you would accept my challenge because I know that your ego is too big to not fight me. I've wrestled all over the world, I've wrestled in Japan, I've wrestled in gas stations, and I've wrestled in front of sold out arenas. But this, this could be the most important match of my career to date. It is a match that has been dreamt up by fans all over the world, and for years I was wondering why you wouldn't challenge me or even face me. And then I realized, Kurt, you have this aura about you that if you stepped into the ring with me, you would lose. You have never been pinned, you've never been submitted in this company, and the legend of Kurt Angle is at an all-time high right now. But unlike the dozens that you've beaten in the past, none of them is Daniel Bryan! The biggest mistake you're gonna make, Kurt, is underestimating me at Insurgents. But the biggest mistake I can make, Kurt, is stopping to show you mercy. Daniel, maybe you need to learn a lesson in respect. It's naive to think that you are the underdog, that you are still the little engine that could. Because Daniel, let's not kid ourselves. You've won championships just as much as I have. You've put on incredible matches. We've seen them. You talk about me underestimating you. Daniel, I think you're underestimating me. Do you know who I am? I'm the guy that won an Olympic gold medal with a broken freaking neck, son. I'm Kurt freaking Angle. Maybe if I was undefeated in a crappy little indie fed, then I wouldn't have much to brag about. But let me tell you something, Daniel. In this company, since I've been here, let me give you a small taste 
of who I have beaten. John Cena, CM Punk, AJ Styles, Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Finn Balor, Drew Galloway, Batista, and the list goes on and on. None of them could beat me. None of them hold a candle to Kurt Angle. And since I've stepped foot in this company, not one person has got me down for a 1-2-3, and not one person has made me say I quit. I don't know what the hell makes you think that you can beat me, but I'm gonna give you the privilege to try it, Insurgents. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving you the privilege to step into the ring with the greatest wrestler of all time. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. You're gonna find that out. Daniel, I don't need to psych you out. You're gonna psych yourself out. How's your wife? Who's gonna be sitting at home, watching the decimation and the beating that I give you with insurgents, huh? And what about your newborn baby? How are you gonna feel when you have to go home to your wife and your newborn and you look them in the eyes and say, Daddy couldn't cut it. And that child is gonna grow up and it's gonna have to tell its friends that Daddy is a failure. And your wife? Speaking of, here she is. Oh, Daniel, what, what? You're not gonna fight me now, are you? Am I getting too personal? Am I talking about your family, huh? Were you gonna hide behind Bree? Bree knows you can't cut it, as a husband and a father. And you better pray that your baby doesn't grow up to realize how much of a failure you are, Daniel. And Bree Bella has had enough of Kurt Angle. And the man was talking about her, and not only her, her child. And Kurt Angle deserved that, he deserves more than that. Taking these confrontations to a whole new... Oh my god. I think he was... I think he... I think he was trying to headbutt Daniel Bryan and... Bryan and Bree moved and... Oh my god. He just headbutted Bree. He said no... Humiliating this man. He tried to headbutt... Daniel Bryan and he headbutted Bree. I'm so, you know, there's nothing I can really add to this, other than we're going to try and get medical attention down there. Angle trying to headbutt Brian, headbutt Bree instead, but while we get this situation sorted out, let's cut to a match that took place earlier tonight between Women's Champion Charlotte and Alexa Bliss taking on Paige and Natalia. Let's roll that tape now, can we? And Alexa Bliss, there's the double knees to the stomach. And now the Women's Champion on the outside there. It was last week. But Paige debuted to save Natalia, and now Natalia with the suplex to the women's champion. And we heard about all of these women who are being contacted to perform here in No Limits Wrestling. And Natalia is nearing a tag, and now here comes the newest acquisition in the women's division a kick by Paige. And this is her house, as she says, has Alexa Bliss tied up in the ropes. And now the knees. And now Paige finishing off what she started last week. The primal scream. But there's Charlotte hacking out the knee. And a discus clothesline on the outside by Natalia. Who Charlotte has dodged as of late. And there's an elbow to the back of the spine. And last week it was a two on one assault. Which Paige came to the aid of Natalia. But now are we going to see some twisted bliss? Alexa on the top. The call out by Paige. And the Rampage One, DDT. Two, three. And Paige pins Alexa Bliss. And Charlotte's personal enforcer gets pinned here tonight. And Paige and Natalia get worn up on the Queen and her protege. And Paige looks at her handiwork. And Charlotte's not going to stick around to see if Alexa's okay. As long as her and her championship are intact, I don't think she honestly cares. That's why she employs Alexa to take the fall. And Alexa is down. Meanwhile, Charlotte looks into the eyes of two potential challengers for her championship. Well, you've got my attention now, mate. How about you and me meet at the pay-per-view to talk business? 
As strange as it might be to hear, I am sick of Roman Reigns. I don't want him interfering. I don't want him causing merry hell on the program anymore. And frankly, I want to know what's going on. The commissioner clearly sees an opportunity there to hire Reigns as a mercenary or a bodyguard, perhaps. But we're just going to have to wait until Insurgents to see just what the commissioner has in store for Roman Reigns. Now, a quick update for you. Brie Bella is fine. She's in the back. Doesn't look like there's any serious injury in any way. But after what happened earlier tonight, accident or not, Daniel Bryan is going to be pissed off and mad as hell heading into the match against Kurt Angle and Insurgents. Now, two more matches happening in Insurgents are Brock Lesnar versus Batista and Seth Rollins versus Edge. Let's start you off with this one and remind you about what happened last week between Rollins and Edge. After accepting the open challenge on Metal, Edge now had the opportunity last week to listen to what Seth Rollins had to say to him. Rollins cut a scathing response, calling Edge old and worn out, but Edge responded with the only way he knew how, with a spear, and telling Seth Rollins we would find out who the man was when they faced off for the championship at Insurgents. And then later on in the night, the commissioner was talking to Seth Rollins, a former friend as we know of the NWO, and said to Seth Rollins he'd do him a favour and make Edge go one-on-one -on -one with Brock Lesnar here tonight. Brock Lesnar, a man who last week was called out by Batista, after Batista and Lesnar had got into a brawl the week prior, and it didn't end well for Batista, an F5 through the announce table, and Batista was left laying. And now these two are set to meet in a no-holds barred match at Insurgents, and the mood that Lesnar's in, I'm certainly not envious of Edge in this matchup. He is a man who will stop at nothing to inflict pain and punishment on those who try and seek him out. This is the beast incarnate. This is the freak of nature known as Brock Lesnar. And well, here comes the pain. Brock Lesnar, who several weeks ago was screwed in the Elimination Chamber out of a world title by CM Punk and Shawn Michaels and rather than go after them, he sought out a new target. He elbowed Batista, trying to get to the world champion. However, Batista took exception to that and didn't want to be treated just like any jabroni. He wanted to face Brock Lesnar head on, and he did so last week. But he got put through an announce table for it. It's the same fate here for us tonight. Edge, who will challenge Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship and Insurgents. He is a veteran of this sport, but Rollins says that time has passed him by. Is Edge the man? Is Brock Lesnar going to beat the man? We will see up next. Wrestling for me isn't a job, it's my life. Always has been, always will be. I've conquered the big time, I've conquered the indies, I've conquered Japan, what's left? Wrestling is instilled in me from an early age, it's in my blood. I built a wrestling empire with my own two hands. You can call it an American dream, but I'm gonna be your American nightmare. I've got one more stop on my list, and there's no limit to what I'm gonna do when I get there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This match in progress. There's a sunset One, flip by two. Edge. Here's the cover, but a kick out by Lesnar. That backdrop into the sunset flip very well. Executed, and there's the spinning heel kick by Edge. It has been back and forth since the start. And surprisingly, more back and forth than we perhaps anticipated. There's the execution. No. Rings around the arm and the belly to belly suplex by Lesnar. Throwing Edge overhead. And this is a punishment for Edge spearing Seth Rollins last week. My, my, oh my, what a throw by Lesnar again. And now picks him up, throws him into the ropes, and there you see, went for a cross body, but picked up the strength of Lesnar. One, and now instead of roll through, and now kicks out does Lesnar. And Edge trying everything he can to out quick the beast, but there you see, picked up, and a spot One, buster by Lesnar. Two. Here's the cover, hooks the leg, but Edge kicks out. This is Edge's first one-on-one -on -one match in this company. He will go one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship and Insurgents. However, tonight he has a date with a beast. And there's a drop kick in the corner. And went for the clothesline, but no effect. A second has no effect. Goes off the road, spinning heel kick caught out. On the shoulders. Oh, we see an NF5. No. Edge turns it into the Execution DDT. And just like that, the momentum turns. Brock Lesnar is down. Edge gets a 
sense of breathing room here. And he is waiting for the Beast in Carnage goes for the clothesline but misses. And now that patented German. And a second one landing edge right on his bad neck. And that one right onto his bad neck again. He has had problems with his neck in the past. It's well documented. And it is Lesnar with those German suplexes that targets it. And again stomping on him. I'm getting tongue tied. I'm sure Edge is going to get tongue tied after getting stomped in the ribs. And now Lesnar in control, but Edge comes behind with a net breaker. He sat out with it. And now Edge in the corner. Looking for the spear. But Lesnar moves. Edge couldn't connect with the spear and now desperately crawls away. Where's he going? He's on the top. Edge on the top rope, looks at the missile drop kick, but caught out in midair. And an F5 One, by Lesnar. Two, three. And Brock Lesnar has pinned Edge. And Edge wasn't expecting this match up here tonight. However, he did his best, but alas, it wasn't enough. Brock Lesnar catching out Edge in midair, and the role that Brock Lesnar has been on since debuting in this company Edge has become yet another victim and thanks to Seth Rollins Edge is not going to be 100% heading into their intercontinental title match at Insurgents and well you see there caught out with a missile drop kick caught in mid air for the F5 and Brock Lesnar heading into his no holds barred showdown with Batista has momentum on his side and Edge Still clutching at his ribs and oh no. Oh and the match is over. And Lesnar's proved his point but he wants to inflict injury here. The Kimura. But he's... Here's Batista. And Batista who last week... Oh my god. Throwing Lesnar into the barricade and what the hell's going on now? Ripping this announce table to pieces. Oh, it's intact now, but it's going to be a piece in a minute. Batista bomb through the announce table. And last week, it was Batista who called out Brock Lesnar for how he was treated the week before. And last week, it was Brock Lesnar who, at the end of the vicious brawl, F5 Batista through the announce table. And here tonight, one episode away from their no holds barred showdown, Batista returns the favour and delivers a Batista bomb to Brock Lesnar through the table. What is going to happen when there are no rules and insurgents, Batista versus Brock Lesnar. And speaking of insurgents, it is going to be a fatal four way for the world title with these four men, but tonight in tag team action, it is the former members of the Bullet Club, Balor and Styles, taking on Punk and Michaels, that's our main event tonight.